Hi guys, today I want to talk to you about the difference between mass and weight. So what is mass? Well mass is the amount of matter in an object. Mass is measured in kilograms or grams. And the mass of an object will be the same anywhere in the universe. So if you imagine a one kilogram bag of sugar, well, whether that's on planet Earth, whether that bag of sugar is on the moon, whether one kilogram uh, bag of sugar is falling into a black hole, it will always be one kilogram. There will always be the same amount of matter there. Now to convert from kilograms to grams, you times by a thousand. And to go from grams to kilograms, you divide by a thousand. So what is weight? Well, weight is the force of gravity acting on mass, and it acts towards the center of the Earth. Weight is measured in newtons, and the weight of an object can change. For example, in space you can be weightless, but you're not massless. So here's an equation that links uh, mass and weight. So weight, uh, W, is measured in newtons, and that's equal to mass measured in kilograms times by g, which is gravitational acceleration in newtons per kilogram, but often is you, uh, you'll see the units meters per second squared as it's also an acceleration. So let's have a look at some examples. So here I've got the uh, triangle for the equation. So weight at the top, which is in newtons, and we've got mass times by gravitational acceleration at the bottom. Now on planet Earth, well, g is roughly 10 newtons per kilogram. It's actually slightly less, but we're going to just take it as 10 for today. So there's our equation, weight equals mass times gravity. Now, on uh, if we had um, uh, a weight of 40 newtons, well, that would be equal to 4 kilograms of mass on planet Earth. And how do we know this? Well, if we look at our triangle, weight at the top, so weight divided by gravitational acceleration, that's going to give us mass. Well, gravitational acceleration is 10. So 40 divided by 10, that is 4 kilograms. Okay, so what about 80 newtons? Well, again, weight at the top, gravitational acceleration at the bottom. So 80 divided by 10, that should be 8 kilograms. Okay, so what weight would uh, be equivalent of 2 kilograms? Well, 2 kilograms is our mass, so 2 times by 10, that's going to give us 20 newtons. Now, all those examples were on planet Earth, but what if we were on the moon? Well, on the moon, gravitational acceleration is 1.6 newtons per kilogram, so it's a lot, a lot less. So, uh, for example, at the bottom there, uh, 3.2 newtons would actually uh, be 2 kilograms. Well, on planet Earth, 2 kilograms would have actually been 20 newtons. Okay, so 12.8 newtons. Well, 12.8, which is our weight, divided by gravitational acceleration, which is 1.6, well, that gives us 8 kilograms. Okay, guys, I hope that's been useful, and uh, I can't wait to see you again. Sorry, that's painful, isn't it? <laughs> okay, uh, like, comment, subscribe, uh, Ah, hope that's been useful. Bye for now.